and go all the way back. Cecilia killed it on her own in the previous battle. Just a counterattack from her killed it. Okay, yeah. That was the right move. Raises the possibility that somebody... No. Okay, only on her? It was still bad. She got that level. Everybody's 40 now. They're all men. Which way was it? Got through there. see how this works. Yay, that's one last one to kill. Of course, the one that I choose to cast magic on, they all run away. And that wasn't actually that impressive with magic. I'm also thinking until we get to a safe spot, I can do something. Isn't there one that lets. Yeah. Okay, just want to check up there. Remember it, these guys aren't too bad. Depending on how hard this hits. Yeah, they're not too bad. She heals for so much. God, I literally could have gone through here and saved all that trouble. That's disappointing.
so I wasn't meaningless. We literally did have a meaning to go over there. Just we hadn't pushed the button that allowed it yet. Also, yeah, putting this thing on was like a godsend. I get a large amount of MP back between battles. Hey Kaido, how are you doing? Are you streaming tonight as well? Oh, let's have a magnum thing this one. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay, I think we can all just regularly attack next turn. Plus, it's a turn for Jack to get a little bit of MP back. Glad I put on that, uh, that sidearm. It's going to make the dungeon a little bit easier, because Jack can just spam stuff ever so often. At least until we get to a save point. Minus flare is not that bad. Yeah, I think, was it um, Super Derek that explained it the first time that this is a Western that focuses on being in a fantasy world with sci-fi elements? It's just like, that's kind of everything thrown into one. Yeah, I've only ever played the first Wild Arms. I actually really want to feel what the aesthetic is like in the other ones. But you can definitely feel the PS1-ish of this game. And it's kind of bad. Particularly how slow, like, battle feels. Fire didn't work last time. Let's try. Uh, let's just try blast. Also, Cecilia needs to heal pretty bad. Yeah, the Completionist is a really big Wild Arms fan. Like, his video on it's pretty good. His old one was better because it had silly stuff like, uh... that square that's obviously what it wants us to do yeah I think he's reviewed it twice the the first time was back when was it Greg is that his name was on the show and that one was really silly because like <laughs> they were in like a hallway and like showing off the like making fun of the tools and there's a moment when he like throws a glass of water at the other guys <laughs>
Yeah, you might have to hunt to try and find the original one since it's not on his channel anymore. Uh, but I believe he did a new game plus. Let me, I'm actually gonna look real quick. Okay, he might not have a new game plus up for it yet, which means that he'll eventually get back to it. But he does have a whole playthrough on Super Beard Bros. But yeah, he was a, a fan of um, Wild Arms. Okay, we got through that floor. There's plenty of magic carrots, which she'll probably need to use soon. Cause she's starting to run all low on MP. And if Jack ever gets back to like a hundred MP, I'll probably switch that item onto her. I also wonder if for New Game Plus he'd use Alter Code F. That way we he could uh, play a different version of it. Yeah, the Greg pur Purge also really sucked because I was a big fan of like the humor that Greg brought. To the channel and it was a little bit of an adjustment period when he had to go start doing reviews without without great part of the show that's fun shows the one door that I can't go anywhere on Yeah, Greg at first, I didn't understand his humor, but then like when they started being able to repeat puns from other episodes, it really started to click with me. How do I get behind that? supposed to. We're supposed to knock one down. Oh, Grand Stream Saga. That game's disappointing because it's just like Quintet has so many like good games that it could have gone out on, and it goes out on that game. I really want to know where the publishing rights for the uh, Quintet Trilogy ended up. Because if, like, Square Enix is just sitting on that, I'm going to be pissed, because they could just drop a collection. People would buy it like crazy. I guess, do you want me to move it over here? To where it's the same as the other one? You did, okay.
Hmm. Do not know what that is supposed to do. Jack doesn't need to use this item anymore. I can start putting it on Cecilia. Let her get some MP back. Back to the first unit. We lose a lot of magic power, but can I push? Let me guess. Is it this? back to that room and see if we can just play with stuff. Let's see if I can figure it out that way. Which is really funny because Tools was a completely different... Uh, okay, this one does those two. This one does... Those two. That opens them all. And then that would open them all. Let's see if this flips them. Okay, I think I know how. Gotta make the long run though. Yeah, that's why I'm just starting to spam MP on Jack to uh, get through these battles. There's so many. This way. Hit that. Now, when we pull this lever, 
Yep, you were right. It was close all three to open one. Yeah, but this game also has a lot of puzzles that, like, aren't intuitive. What is that? Um, we're just going to be Magnum Fang because I'm scared of that. Also, Cecilia so might need to heal. Yeah, there's a lot of not intuitive puzzles in this game. Like, when you're where you're supposed to click on a wall, where it looks like you could crack it with a bomb, even though they never teach you that it's what you're supposed to do elsewhere in the game. Or when you're supposed to use hand pan to scare a little child when that's not been used elsewhere in the game. Yeah, it's probably why I never beat this game back in the day, is those moments where it's just like, what am I supposed to do? I feel like I've done everything that the game has taught me to do and it didn't get me anywhere. Wait a second, we're gonna go back down. I wanna see what's through this door. Cause if it's like a save point or something, I would kick myself for not going in there. is almost back to 200 MP. Which then means that can go back on Jack. So glad I got that item. Nope, it was just a chest. I'll take it. I worry I might have missed something on the floor before, but 